Welcome back. And of course, Rubbing Minds this Sunday afternoon. We have a very special guest in the studio. She probably needs no introduction. Uh, if you've been following the Big Brother saga, uh, that's Big Brother Niger, she is one that you just cannot miss. Very vocal. And uh, she corrected me. She said she was evicted by mistake. <laughs> yes. Really? What does that even mean, Chloe? Like, obviously, everybody loves me. Everybody. Yeah. Well, I would not lie. The love is there. Um, a lot of, of big, big celebs, you know, really stood up um, uh, for you. Um, Thanks to them. I mean, we have the likes of Derry Lee and, and yeah. the list goes on and on. But going into the Big Brother house, what was your strategy? Oh, my God. I wish I knew about the strategy before I went into the Big Brother Did house. you have one? No. That's the funniest part. No, that was just pure Chloe. Now, the, the, the Chloe we saw in Big Brother House, is that the Chloe every other day? Yeah, I'm like that. Because some, some of the people like you were very vocal, you were talking a lot, you were saying things you didn't need to say, and drawing too much attention to yourself. Like what? Should we talk about the cursing out? That was, <laughs> that was, that was frustration. That was a mistake. That one was a mistake. That was, that's you regret so, doing that? Um, yes. Yes, I do. But at the, at the point where you did it, what, what was going through your mind? How angry, was, how, how was, angry were you? I was on 100%. Because I had, I don't know if you guys saw the old clip, mm. because it's something that happened from a little misunderstanding to arguments to that. So I was on top for me to say that. Mm. I was really on top. You, you said some very strong things, things that I, I, I mean, the, let's, let's even take the issue of the whore, the whore thing. Yeah. Um, I know you said it was a mistake, but like egg, it's been said, it's been broken. But he and called I, me, he called me a bastard. Bastard in another, in another language right. or in another tone is the same thing I said. It's the same thing. So he called me a bastard, but because everybody thinks bastard is a general thing that you call everybody, no, it's an insult. And I try to break it down to another word for him, like you. Mm -hmm. Nah, okay, I think that we can't stay here, but... Mm -hmm. you, do you think that there could have been another way to have approached this? Or you feel happy that you had to just let it all out? See, um, we try to like control our emotions most of the time and try to control ourselves when we're angry. But there are sometimes you just go off board. Mm. Like you don't even know when it pops out. Mm. And you don't even realize it immediately until you not start and be like, okay, Chloe, you shouldn't have said that. You get what I'm saying? It's... I can't explain it. I'm so sorry about that. No, I mean, it's, but... it's, it's natural for, for people to be angry. Yeah. Um, I guess the, the question is in the manner in which, and then you had the house head, and then there was people that are watching, and people are watching. So a, a lot of people have the opinion that, yes, it's a show, but you know, how do you draw the line between when it's strategy and acting and emotions and just being somebody that people can say hi to down, down the street if they see you on the road. I am a very lovable person. I don't know if you watch the show. Mm. I have my misunderstanding, but that's it. After I tell you how I feel, that's it. I don't, I don't hold... Has that always me. worked for you? Yes, because I see no reason why I have to keep everything in me. Maybe you step on me, I'm like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> and I'm angry. And you're dying inside. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me just say you stepped on me, finished, then sorry, sorry. That's it. That's how to live life. But when... You don't want to keep things inside you. You mm. don't want to hate anybody. I'm this kind of person that I cannot even hate some, someone. I can't even hate something. I can just say this minute, I don't like this table. Then I can sit back there and be like, oh, that table is cute. Which is allowed. You get what I'm saying? Well, how, so how, how was, like I mean, let's, let's go back to, to the Big Brother house. Um, what, what do you think was, what was your state of mind in the Big Brother house? Ah. Was there a point where you just zoned out and you forgot this was a show and you're actually enjoying every part of it? I enjoyed it. Every part from the first day. If Big Brother called back and I said, let's come back into the house. No, I won't come back for this one. You won't go back into the same house? For this one. Why? Because I, I've been there. Been there, done that? Yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> and now we moved to another level. Okay. So um, now, you and your partner were evicted. How was the conversation after you left the Big Brother house? Myself both? and Kimberly. Yeah. Um, we, we just apologized to each other. Publicly? Uh, yes, we did some some interviews with Aid. We did. It's fine. We're Was cool. it? Is it? Is We're it a cool. process that is still ongoing, or it's it's in the past? Because you you guys exchanged some pretty powerful, powerful words. 
Ah, I'm powerful, you saying powerful, powerful, powerful. That was just a mistake. And that's it, that's gone. I apologized already to him, he apologized to me. I apologized to my fans, my family, and my friends mm -hmm. for using that such kind of words. So it's something that everybody make mistakes. No, I They're know. I mean, perfect. but with every mistake, there's a lesson to learn. Now, there are people watching now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, not everybody's in a big brother house, but yeah. there are repercussions for everything we do, actions mm -hmm. and reactions. What, what do you think, or how, how was, how did family and friends take it when you got, got back? Um, um, my family and friends, oh, they're so amazing. <laughs> I didn't expect it. I was overwhelmed when I got to the airport. I was telling my friend, the princess from the house, mm. I'm like, princess, I, I'm shaking. Mm. I feel like going outside this airport, everybody will look at me and be like, Whoa, what's this? But I came out and all camera, people screaming, I'm like, Oh my God. The love and I real. called my mom and she's like, I'm proud of you. Your mom said she's yeah, proud of you. Yeah, you made mistakes. But the only thing is that you own up to your mistake and you're mm. ready to be a better person. That's it. That's a fantastic one. Yeah. I mean, that, if, if, if anyone's going to take that away from you, that's, that should be the major takeaway. Yeah. Now, let, let's fast forward to the game. Um, you're not going to go back, obviously, but who do you <laughs> think has the greatest shot? Uh, is it too early to tell or you have your favorite? No, I, I'm going to say this again. It's not about who has the greatest shot. Mm. Because from the outside, if I see someone like me in that house, I'll be like, my money on this person. I know she's going to win. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So now I'm just going to say my money is on Leo. Why? I just want him to win. Because I know he has a lot of things he's going to do with that money that I'm going to benefit from it. Mm. And each and every one of us are going to benefit from it. Even the youth. Like he has... Things that you want to do, mm. but you need that platform and you need that money. So my money is only Okay. If you had the money, if you won, what, what are the things you're going to do with your money? Uh, there is this project I've been trying to work on for like um, two years now. It's about um, empowering kids. Mm. It's, it's like a platform where we use empower kids through football. Okay, sports. Like trying to get... No, like football, then empowering kids through basketball, try to get people that can play basketball, try to raise money for them, mm. empowering ki kids through art, mm. get artists that can sketch and stuff like that. We auction the artwork, then we'll, like mm. give them money, send them to school, do you want to lend this and stuff like that. And there's this movie project I've been working on for a long time. Okay. Amazing. What, what is that? Okay. You know what? Let me, let me pause on the movie project because... Um, <laughs> I have, there's something I saw, which is the, the smoking scene. And I got a couple of tweets, people making sure that I asked this question, that is it a one-off thing? Was it because you're in the house or is it, is it something you actually do? <sighs> or was it peer pressure? <laughs> I think I was just in a box that time. I just need to air out. Mm. That's what I'm going to say about that. Are you still in a box? No. The box has been broken. I'm free. How do you how do you how do you deal with pressure, generally speaking? How so, do you relieve yourself of pressure? Um, I talk to myself most of the time in the house. I'm sure they didn't show you guys that part. I always go to the bathroom for like at least 15 minutes to cry. Oh, so that's what that was about. I thought maybe your number two was quite long. Oh no, <laughs> I'm just always there, like cry, console myself. Insult myself if I need to, put myself mm. back in check, console myself, wipe my tears, mm. and come out with a smile like, hey! And a reset it. button. Because if you are going to advise me, mm. you're still going to curse me, one way or the other. Mm. Or you're still going to point out the, the, the bad ones. Mm. But I know. I mean, I'm, I'm this kind of person that when I do stuff and I think about it, I know, oh my God, this is wrong. You need to be a better and person. And check yourself. I need... I'm... I am very conscious of things I do most mm. of the time, but people don't know. People think I'm insensitive when I am very sensitive. And emotional too. I'm very emotional. As in hundred percent emotional. But I try to be like oh. you Well, know? you have to put up a strong face. Talking about emotional. What's your thought on CC uh, what CC did to Lulu? I <sighs> I don't know. And she remained in the house. Left to me, CC should be in Lagos before me. If this was, should be in Lagos for you. That was Big Brother. But things, you Big know, Brother was unfair? No, I won't say Big Brother was unfair. Grace. Grace. We carry different grace. 
Trust me. <laughs> I can I can do something. I can slap someone now, and they'll be like, okay, she can go. And somebody else can do the same thing, and you can be beaten up to that. So it's grace. 